Okay, I'll stop this training just for a minute. My name's Jay Devon, and I want to share plenty of things to help everyone to be happier on the court. Okay, today's video, it's about a number of things in the professional tennis, which if I had the opportunity to do now in these days with the amount of exposure and coverage all around the world and all the online media, uh, things I would try to do to uh, honor this privilege of being a tennis player where you have so much pull and power and ability to uh, positively influence so many different things and people around the world. So to start off with, um, I would uh, announce to the chair umpire before the game or even to the tournament himself beforehand to give uh, plenty of notice that when I'm playing all my matches that I'm not going to be having any of the children as my slave. None of the children are going to be on my call, come over here, bring me the towel, wipe down the sweat and throw it at the kid and then like hurry up, get out of the way, I want to start playing, is if I want the towel, I'm going to go and do it for myself. Trying to show people tennis is a really tough sport and be tough and do things for yourself. Same as if uh, a lot of times just trying to be much more nice and friendly to everybody there because they're all there to help you. They're trying to make the game go quicker, bring out the balls really quickly, they're all trying to do their best too, to have consideration for that. So a lot of times you might see that a ball's on the court right near one of the tennis players and they just ignore it and they let the kid run from the far corner or wherever it is which obviously going to take a lot longer for the game to happen rather than I would be letting them know that I'm going to make sure that if there's any ball near me I'm going to try to quickly help push it to the most near person to have everything quicker and save them from running around everywhere as much as possible. Same as uh, you know when uh, I finish the games and I'm serving, they normally, they often will just like drop the balls down on the floor. Just how hard would it be to turn around and throw the ball to the kid who's watching uh, so that they'd have to go and pick it up from the floor. So just things like this, consideration of the, the children and trying to do a lot more things for yourself in, instead of being the, the spoiled brat type people that you see who are smashing up their rackets, breaking rackets on the umpire's chair, complaining how life is so tough when they're making millions of dollars, uh, not on. Next thing would be uh, a way to try to have everyone not so selfish in the world and everything's about me, would be trying to allow my opponent, you know, no matter how competitive I am, which is very, is to make sure that I'm making sure every opportunity I have is let people go before me. So for example, a lot of the players, they try to make sure they jostle and get out and be the first one out on the court and then they can go pick the chair in the side they want to be on. They might have a lucky side, but guess what I'm telling you, which side you sit down on, it's not going to help you win the match. It's going to be about what you do on the court. So obviously a gesture would be to allow people to go on the court before you so they can get the applause of the crowd first. They can go choose the end of the court they want to be on. They can choose the chair they want to be on, especially if they have their lucky chair. Um, and other things would be is to make sure that um, same thing, uh, letting the tournament know or, or the chair umpire know that when I'm playing a game and we have the, the toss of the coin to decide who gets to choose whether they're going to serve, receive or pick the end is I'm just going to say we have no need for the coin toss. I'm going to always let my opponent choose whatever they want to do and then I'll take what's left over. So if they want to serve then I'll choose the end I want to play from. But everything's on you, you can have the choice before me. Same as another thing you could do, which I would think would be very good, is once they're sitting down from the change of ends all the time, whether it's two minutes at the end of a set or uh, one and a half minutes on the, the change of ends between games, is to make a point of getting up first, but not going out in the court before my opponent and letting them go past me to go out in the court first. Respect of other people, lots of little ways you could do that on the tennis court all the time and show that to the world that this is what we do as tennis players because you know, we, our game is all based around integrity and honor and meritocracy, who's better on the day and making sure that you're do it best as you can, be competitive as you can, but make sure that you're always being, doing it in a sporting way. Same thing too is of course, how you're responding in the court. Uh, think about how is that going to be better for the sport and how is it going to encourage people to play or children to play. When people are, did something, whether it was lucky or you're really annoyed about it, instead of you know, whatever it is, the swear words or the negative uh, actions and oh my God and all these type of things is just applauding them, clapping it, moving on and you're going to be 
just trying to do your best to get the next thing because whatever happened, happened. And if somebody does something good, show them that they did something good and c continue on with the game. But don't make it a big fuss about, oh, this and oh, that. So uh, there's plenty of things to do. I'm going to have another few of these type of uh, series where I'm talking about things that we could do to positively influence the sport of tennis and, and uh, ability to also have a roll on effect where that could it, it permeate through people's lives in the world. So let's all go out and think about it. I've got a few notes down. If you've got some interesting ones for me to include, please send them through with the comments below or any other way. I'll respond back and try to cover it all. Let's try to get to this and make the world and tennis a lot better than it is now.